Good morning, everybody. Today is Elbow Sun's birthday. Spirit fingers. Spirit fingers. These are spirit fingers. And these are cool. I haven't slept. I didn't sleep last night. So yeah, today's his birthday. Uh, I have the whole day planned, but I should say the party started yesterday because let me give you a little backstory. I've had insomnia lately and there's been a lot of things going on in both of our personal lives. You'll see why very soon, so I'm not going to get into it, but just, just a lot of stuff is going to be happening this month and it took a lot of planning and um, that and then also like my professional life I guess like on YouTube I've kind of sucked lately you, you probably noticed I haven't been uploading I tried to do this Halloween makeup tutorial and I failed twice before giving up and then I created this pet costume video which I then deleted and I explained that on my Instagram I'm not gonna go into that too because that's gonna go off on a whole nother ch tangent and then on the Friday I filmed this epic um, Halloween nail tutorial which I've been planning out for a while and my microphone was on a weird setting or something I don't know but it was this like loud buzzing sound over our voices and our voices were really low oh yeah when I wash my hair there's fake hair added too yeah. oh I can wash it at the same time but I'm not gonna lie I'm so excited to try and cut things with it mm -hmm. like I'm gonna eat with it for sure like stab little little finger foods and like eat it. Why? <laughs> It gets stuck in your wallet zipper. So the worst situation is when you're paying for your food and there's a long line of hungry customers behind you and the cashier gives you a bunch of change in your receipt and you're trying to get it in your wallet and get out of the way as quickly as possible and you can see the cashier looking at the next person and everyone's just really impatient. Add in an extra 10 to 15 seconds of excruciating, awkward, embarrassing anxiety because your nail hair gets stuck in your in your wallet zipper and uh, you have yourself the worst time ever. Gave it a haircut. Babe. <laughs> now it just looks emo. There's my chemical romance playing right now, you just don't know it yet. Oh my god, I just did a push up. Shoot it far back so they can see. I'm doing it. I can do a full push up. So I just kept failing at everything and then finally we were both like we've had enough because things are going on with him too and we're like let's get away let's go to the countryside in Japan. So we went there like refocused and now we're back here and I'm still not really sleeping so <sighs> I remember one of Zoella's videos she was using this pillow spray that helps her sleep. I don't know what it's filled with, but it's supposed to like relax you and help you have a better sleep. So I was on iHerb and I decided to buy one. And I went to use it last night, here it is. And <laughs> I sprayed it all over our pillows. And then it started to smell like alcohol. And I was like, what 
the and then I started to read it and it actually says it's a mouth spray and it contains 27% alcohol. So it's basically, it felt like I had just taken a straight shot of vodka before going to bed. Ask a doctor before use in children under 12. I think it should say under 19 or whatever the drinking age is because this, it's straight alcohol. It smells like alcohol. Uh, my fiance walked in and he was like, why does this whole room smell like alcohol? And I just like quickly turned over his pillow because it was completely soaked. It smelled so bad. He still doesn't know I sprayed his pillow with it. I feel really stupid for not reading anything before I bought it. So yeah, I, turns out I'm not Zoella yet and I'm not Mikey from Glam and Gore. I can't do special effects makeup. I just had one off lucky video with upside down head. You know the, the mouth spray last night? Mm -hmm. That I thought was pillow spray? Mm -hmm. I sprayed both of our pillows full of it. No way. <laughs> Because I wanted to give us both a good night's sleep, so I was like, oh, I'm gonna... But you slept good. Yes. Are you hungover? <laughs> I be. So I was thinking last night, while you were sleeping, I was still awake because I didn't sleep again. I was thinking, oh, I could play some little pump right now. We got the smell of alcohol, and then we're like passing out. It kind of feels like we're young and in a club again. We're like partying the night before your birthday. This is my outfit today. I'm wearing this pink silk skirt from Style Nanda. Goes a bit high, it's there. And then I'm wearing this hoodie I got a while ago. I forget where I got it. I feel like it's Revolve or something. I just didn't know what to pair it with. But I think it really has a cool shape to it. And we're just heading to a very casual place for lunch, but it looks really cool from the photos and it serves Balinese food. So I'm excited to try that. And, wow, but you can't come because they don't allow dogs. I was just checking out YouTube. I always scroll through like what everyone's posting and Gabby Hanna just posted a video where she does her first job for a day and I was just thinking what that would be like because I worked at, technically I guess my first job where someone hired me was at a restaurant and I was a hostess and then I, I did a bit of serving so I thought it would be so fun to do that and like uh, serve meals and maybe some of you watching are from my hometown and you could come and eat there that would be so fun but we were just talking about our first jobs what was yours babe? Uh, and my first job is to like to, uh, to sell hot dog, chicken wings Inside the station. Inside the train station? Yeah, with my mom. With your mom. So that was her main job and you kind of helped her out? Uh, we don't own the shop actually, yeah. but uh, someone hired my mom uh -huh. and my mom referred me to work with her there. Aww. So you guys work together like every day? Yeah. Uh -huh. Not Did she yell just once a week. Did, was she strict and like yell at you to do more? Oh uh, no no no. No? No, it's a very friendly working environment. Oh, that's so yeah. cute. And then what? And then I did some other summer jobs like a office boy. Uh-huh. It's an office I boy. I had to do like deliver letters. Uh, some orders to different office. Oh, like the modern day Deliveroo? Like uh, running things to the. Yeah, kind of. Or but like post for documents. Just, uh, oh, I didn't know that documents. existed. Yeah. Hmm. Handing those leaflets on the street. Oh. Yeah. I actually, I delivered newspapers too with my mom actually. She helped me like roll them up and walk around and deliver them. So we kind of do the same thing, but not not handing out on the street. So that's like people actually have to take them, right? That's a really hard job. Yeah. So usually I will hand like double or uh, <laughs> three leaflet at, at once so I can leave earlier. After I graduate, mm. it's, uh, working in a university. Oh. As a project assistant. It's like a programmer job. Oh, computer programmer. Yeah. That's what you studied, right? Yeah. Ooh, this is turning into part two. Part two of the fiance tag. Because <clears throat> a lot of you guys actually want to know more about his business side. Like how he started his business, um, how the 
digital industry has changed and the difference between the eastern market and the western market all that kind of stuff so yeah I was, I was telling Tom about it and we I always told him like he should write a book because his story is so incredible and so inspiring but it's not my job to tell it but um, yeah maybe you'll write a book one day or like have a little talk have a little TED talk Cool. <laughs> With just your elbow. We are arriving at the mall where we're gonna have lunch. The birthday festivities are beginning. Birthday what? Festivities. Um, like celebrations. Festus spree. <laughs> What's that? Festivity. Yeah. Oh, it's like activity. Yes, but celebrating something. You make up this word or <laughs> this word exists? <laughs> it exists. <laughs> I never heard of it. Really? That's one of the funny things about Albosan actually. One of you guys asked um, what's like something funny or embarrassing about us. And he doesn't really do anything embarrassing, but one funny thing, when I first met him, he would he would speak like the literal translation of a dictionary <laughs> from his phone. So he'd be like, I'd be like, oh, how was your workout today? And he'd say, oh, it's good. I, I did waiting irons instead of I lifted weights like he did the direct translation. <laughs> or sometimes his pronunciation of words, like he called sandals scandals. Like, oh, wait, let me get all my scandals. I was like, oh, I didn't know we carried those around with us daily, but okay. He was meaning sandals and like, Kanye West, he pronounced Canyon West and Parfell Williams. So it's kind of like that Balake skit I always talk about. No Balake here today. My name is Blake. He kind of reminds me of that on a daily basis because he pronounces words funny and it's just the best thing ever. I hope it never ends. Feels like we're in Bali. The beach is right there. Look at these chairs. Look at these tables. Look, Look at these. Broken, and it's actually showing oh my gosh. Thank you so much. Okay. I got the vegetarian starter. This salad. Embarrassing things. Sit closer to the mic. I'll put the mic on you. I know. I know mine all have to do with poo. When I did the surgery, I like was constipated for a week straight. And when I finally took a poo, it was the best one of my life. And I didn't realize it smelled so bad. And I was sharing the room with six other people and Elbow Sun walked in and begged me for a mercy flush. And that was when, yeah, I think that was the first time we actually- Yeah, the whole room can smell. I think that's the first time you really smelled me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so strong. <laughs> so strong. Yeah. All my embarrassing stories have to do with poop somehow. My mom was changing my sister and I was about one, almost two years old and I was helping my mom and I got poo on my hands and I didn't know what to do with it so I looked at it and then I just ate it. Yeah. We didn't answer the negative things. Like what's the... Worth something you don't like about me, or if you could change one thing. A never finish a song or a movie. A song or a movie, yeah. yeah. I always have to change. I don't know why. No, if I know what it's gonna be. If the movie's not good and doesn't grab my attention right away, I change it pretty fast. But you don't give it a chance. I think that's why I like YouTube so much. Like it's fast and like there's a lot of things happening at once. And, like. Yeah, but movie you need to build up the time. Mine for you is you have the loudest knees ever. <laughs> it's not that loud. So. Oh, wow. It's like, okay, God gifted him with the most gentle, softest, calm voice. Like, I get the ASMR tingles all day, every day. I'm lucky for that. But when he sneezes, like some people will suck in like <gasps> like and give you a warning. But him, it's like he slowly sucked in the whole room in small doses throughout the day. So you don't know when it's gonna happen. And then unexpectedly, he just like, this explosion happens and it is so loud. <laughs> it scares me every time. And sometimes he snores. So you're kind of loud, like you're quiet, but you're loud. 
unexpectedly. But there are things I can get used to that are not that big of a deal. Thank you. Thank you. It's nice. So nice. Get a little mixture of everything. Uh, I hope you still can stop dropping things. Whenever you hold something, holding food, holding something, you have to drop. <laughs> I'm a disaster when I eat food. Is like it's already spreading. This is all me. <laughs> and always, the place is the most messy, dirty, messy. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> I don't think I can. My whole family knows. No one, everyone knows. Don't sit next to me because you will be wearing my food. You can ask any of them. This food is really delicious. Indonesian food is amazing. Babe, how do you feel about my like changes over the years? Because when you met me, I was like Taylor Phase 1.0, Dolly contact lenses, and so much has changed since then. When what do you think about that? The appearance, not the inside, is still the same. The outside change, but not the inside. Yeah, so the outside is important. Outside doesn't bother you. Do you prefer one style over the other? Mm, I like the now more, more electro, more casual, more carefree, more. I think, yeah, I think you like my attitude now better too because I was so stuck on perfectionism and worried about what everyone thought all the time and that caused you a lot of stress too. Mm -hmm. We just put on our scandals. We came to the beach with our iced coffees. And we're just gonna sit and chill on this little towel. Maybe walk around. got my pedicure done. Tom chose a nude color for me and he got his pedicure done and then he went for a head massage because mine took a bit longer with the color. And now we have a little bit of time, about an hour. We're gonna get changed and then go to dinner. This is my outfit for tonight. My shirt and skirt is from Style Nanda. The skirt has this ruffled floral texture. And then the shirt from the back is all open. Both are from Style Nanda and I'm just throwing on this leather jacket from Zara on top and what I'm trying to decide on is the shoe. So I actually did an Instagram poll. These are from Revolve and these are from the store on Queen in Toronto. I was actually leaning more towards these because I feel like they make my legs a lot more elongated but you guys are voting for these. So it looks like it's going to be these because I got to leave soon and it's like 64% right now these. It's winning by a lot. So anyways, thank you guys for voting and participating and I'll have to wear these another day because I really love them. I got him these Balenciaga dad shoes he wanted before. And then also this is a surprise that he doesn't know what's coming. Yeah. So cute. It's, <laughs> it's like a toilet. No. You don't recognize? It's like me. It does look like you. John Lennon. Whoa! You bought it, baby! Yeah. Hey, I know it's John Lennon. <laughs> but it looks like you. Yeah. I like it. I saw this and loved it for so many reasons, which I will explain in another video, but um, this is by a new artist I discovered called Brian Nash from Nashville. So nice. 
And I got it for his new office. Did you have a nice day, babe? Yep, perfect day. Is it a good birthday? Yep. <clears throat> what did you wish for? People said cannot tell people. Cannot tell people? Or it won't come true? Otherwise it won't come true. I think I can guess. Is it the same thing you always wish for? Yep. <laughs> what do you hope for? Have our baby together. <laughs> by this time next year. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with us. And I will see you in my next video very, very soon.